The lawn as a whole is just looking still absolutely fabulous. Everyone, it is the week of Halloween and look how good the lawn is still looking. The garden has certainly seen better days, but uh, the whole lawn is looking absolutely fantastic still. Now is the time to do our final application. This is just to kind of help the lawn winter over. It's not really going to do much uh, in terms of how the lawn reacts this year, uh, but it will make sure that we get a really good jump start on the year next year. All we're doing is uh, the Scots lawn food with uh, Winter Guard. If any of you have watched uh, my other videos, you know that I love to mix the Scots products with the Anderson's products, but uh, I have found the rate of diminishing returns on this final application of uh, fertilizer, so I just do the least expensive stuff. Now, the number one complaint that everybody has about Scots, and I have a complaint about it too, is the chunks. There's always big chunks in these bags. So that's where this secret weapon comes into play. I'm going to show you how that works right now. So this is the issue. See that? Now there's big chunk. There's a number of others down in uh, the bottom of that. Anyway, it can wreak havoc in your fertilizer spreader and make it not spread right. All you got to do, get a power drill. I have an extension so I don't have to bend over. And uh, then I've just got this auger bit. And uh, you just uh, stick it on down in that stuff. And, uh, and then squeeze the trigger and away you go. And there we go, beautifully broken up. So if you use Scots, be sure and get uh, yourself one of these auger attachments. It is sweet. All right, what we're using today uh, to spread is the Earthway spreader. We're doing 2.5 pounds per thousand uh, on this. I love this spreader because of its bucket shape. It really helps funnel the product out. Makes it really easy, especially as you start getting low on product to uh, spread it all. Let's get to spreading. We are all done. Like I said, there's probably not going to be too much of a difference, but I'm still going to come back in about uh, a week to two weeks and uh, just let you see how it's doing and uh, we'll sign off uh, for the year. All right, guys, it's been 10 days approximately from the last uh, fertilizer application. And uh, as you can see, uh, everything in the garden has been frozen and what have you. We are well into of uh, the winter months. This is beginning of November now. As you can see, <laughs> the lawn, uh, if I even just pan over here, the lawn as a whole is just looking still absolutely fabulous. So eventually it'll succumb to uh, the effects of winter. Uh, but like I said, it's already been uh, frozen a number of times. The garden is completely toast and uh, the leaves are dropping like crazy off the trees and uh, more to, to come as you can see. But uh, even with it being frozen and even snowed on once already, uh, the lawn uh, is still looking green and nice. Uh, of course, uh, I've got uh, links down in the description to the full playlist with uh, all year's videos easily to find. So if you want to see the whole uh, year in review, go ahead and uh, check that out. We'll do more videos next year, uh, but uh, you may want to check out the uh, early spring videos so that uh, you can get prepared uh, for the coming year. Appreciate it, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you later.